Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor Jim Pytel and today we'll take a quick look at an example motor drive, in this case an Omron 3G 3JX AE004. Our objective is to examine the specifications and physical layout of an Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. This lecture is predicated on the assumption the viewers watch the Introduction to Motor Drives lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you haven't watched this lecture yet or only dimly recall its contents, please take the time to do so now. This lecture in no way is meant to be neither an exhaustive review nor an endorsement of this product or manufacturer. This brief examination is meant to be solely a practical exercise of the contents in the above reference lecture. The Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive is part of the SysDrive JX series of compact simplified inverters manufactured by Omron. The nameplate affixed to the side specifies this motor drive is an Omron 3G 3JX AE004. Interpreting this part number is astoundingly easy. The manufacturer's data sheet shows four entries, the model, the enclosure rating, the voltage class, and motor capacity. Not all combinations of these entries are available. The model is obviously a 3G 3JX. The enclosure rating of A specifies it can be panel or closed wall mounted. The voltage class entry of E specifies this motor drive can use single or three phase AC with a nominal 200 volt input. The nameplate further specifies this value could be 200 to 240 volts, as well as indicates current draw for a given input condition. The motor capacity entry of 004 specifies this drive is intended to operate a 400 watt or roughly half horsepower motor. The nameplate additionally specifies that this motor drive is capable of producing nominal 200 volt three phase AC output in a range of 0.5 to 400 hertz. A view of the front panel shows several user interface elements. In what I consider a severe transgression of terminology, Omron, for some inexplicable reason, has grouped this collection as the digital operator group. I don't like the term digital, and I'm of the opinion the title manual operator group be far more apt description of this group's intended function since elements within this group are intended to be used by an operator for direct manual operation of the motor drive. Nonetheless, the digital operator group contains the data display, the run button, the stop reset button, the frequency adjustment knob, the mode button, increment and decrement buttons, enter, and several indicator LEDs. The data display displays relevant data such as frequency reference, output current, or other parameter values. The run button activates the motor using the pre-programmed parameters when the digital operator mode is selected. The stop reset button decelerates the motor using the pre-programmed parameters when the digital operator mode is selected. If the motor drive has experienced an error, this button will also reset it. The frequency adjustment knob changes the output frequency of the drive when the digital operator mode is selected. The mode button switches between different functions namely monitor or display functions preceded by a D, basic functions preceded by an F, extended functions preceded by an A, initialization and protection functions preceded by a B, communication functions preceded by a C, and motor settings preceded by an H. We'll come back to explain various elements of these different modes when we learn to program this motor drive. The increment and decrement buttons change settings and navigate within the different modes. The enter key enters and saves the set value. In addition to the data display, the digital operator group includes several indicator LEDs. The power LED is lit when the motor drive is powered up. The alarm LED is lit when the motor drive experiences an error. The run LED is lit when the motor drive is actively accelerating, running, or decelerating a motor. The program LED is lit when parameters of the motor drive are being adjusted. The Hertz and Amp LEDs are lit to accompany numerical data displayed on the data display with the appropriate units. Finally, the LEDs above the run button and the frequency adjustment knob are lit when the motor drive is programmed to allow manual direct operation using elements within the digital operator group. If these LEDs are not lit, the motor drive is under remote control. The front panel also includes an accessory RJ45 jack communications port under a cover. When we flip the motor drive over, we see the heat sink on the back. Before we finish the external inspection of the motor drive, notice the conspicuous warning on the front panel that tells you a possibility of severe death exists if you don't wait for the motor drive to discharge a specified length of time after disconnecting it. The rest of the motor drive can be inspected using the associated standard connection diagram. Note the motor drive includes three phase inputs, L1, L2, and L3, 
as well as a ground connection on top. To access these terminals, one needs to remove the front plate and top cover. For single phase AC operation, the diagram indicates L1 in neutral would be connected to L1 and L3. Additionally note the standard connection diagram indicates a circuit breaker must be installed between the power supply and the motor drive for disconnection purposes. Note this motor drive necessitates no additional power connection to power the device itself. This motor drive is powered using the primary L1 to L3 connections. The motor drive T1, T2, and T3 outputs and accessory output connections appear on the bottom. To access these terminals, one needs to remove the front plate and bottom cover. Note the standard connection diagram indicates accessory connections and a DC reactor and braking unit. Note the manufacturer installed shorting bar underneath the sticker on those connections reserved for a DC reactor. To examine the rest of the connections, we need to remove the front plate. Note two micro switches, S7 and S8, respectively configure the motor drive for serial communications and emergency shutoff functions. Note the default state of these switches.